Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency and Wally Hatchet's Comfort Food and Drinks at 6439 Summer Avenue. And we're back with Outdoors with Larry Ray. I'm Tony Dolly. I'm sitting in for Larry this week. And with me is Frank Barton, uh, noted waterfowl hunter for the, in the in Mid-South, and Ron, Ron Wong, who is the fisherman extraordinaire. And uh, you can see, you can uh, t- listen to both of those guys, uh, ask some questions here in a minute. And our next guest is Luke Naylor. Uh, Luke is a waterfowl biologist with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. And he's coming to us from a wildlife area near Little Rock where he was doing a presentation and doing some work today. And he's kind enough to get on the phone with us here for a little while. And Luke's got some uh, information about some possible changes, I guess, Luke, to the uh, regulations for the Arkansas waterfowl season. So if you uh, don't mind, just take it away and off you go. Yeah, you bet. Thanks. Um, Yeah, so every two years we've gone to a cycle now where we just consider uh, wildlife management regulations every two years. So we don't do a reg cycle every year like we had for many, many years. And now all all wildlife regulations are rolled up into one process. So we're considering it all at one time, deer, turkeys, ducks, bears, all of it. Um, so so ducks are rolled right up in there, and we've got that's currently out for public comment right now and uh, has started in March, and then the final vote on regulations will be at the May Commission meeting about the third week of May, I believe. So uh, just direct people first off, if they want to get more information, just go to our website, agfc.com, and you can find your way to the regulations proposal, the public comment survey, um, online survey you can take, uh, additional information. So, yeah, but for, for duck season, uh, for waterfowl seasons in general, we're, um, you know, we always – have these conversations about when uh, when we will set duck season opening dates and then when the splits are and when the season ultimately ends each each year. So uh, this year we've we've been kind of talking internally for uh, quite a few years about about shifting the opening date itself back a little bit. And this year we're putting that out there for public comment. And that would in in a nutshell. Most folks may be aware that, that Arkansas duck seasons have started the Saturday before Thanksgiving for as long as just about anybody can remember. And and this proposal would have the season start the Saturday after Thanksgiving, uh, but not beginning until the 2023-24 season. If it does, if this is passed uh, in May, that would give 18 months or so uh, for folks to adjust calendars, trips, uh, booked hunts, things like that, instead of just six months or so. Uh, so we're given a little bit bigger window if that is the ultimate decision made uh, at May Commission meeting. So we've been talking about that a lot because of, of really hunter preference, um, just word of mouth stuff, of course, but also we hear that a lot. But we've also done some formal surveys of duck hunters over the years, and they consistently tell us that they're really only a small percentage of duck hunters really want duck season open when it does now, which is functionally about the third week of November. Most duck hunters, more duck hunters, want to, the season to open uh, more towards the end of November, the first part of December. And uh, so this proposal is kind of just to um, reflect those those wishes and, and those desires of, of duck hunters as we've uh, surveyed them over the years. So has some additional benefits. Uh, we've talked to you before about green tree reservoir management and pushing back infrastructure, you know, board drop dates on some of these areas. And, and sure. that could have a kind of a side benefit of, of giving a little bit more breathing room for um, flooding up bottom and hardwood forests and, and GTRs on both public and private land. Uh, so, so yeah, then you can kind of carry a discussion on and on and on about how goose seasons interact with duck seasons and and we are one big thing for, for white printed goose hunting is that we're proposing to go back to a 74 day season with a three bird back on that. We had that for, from oh, 2015 to 2020. In the last two years, it's been an 88 day season with a two bird back on it. Uh, we're proposing to go back to the 74 and three, um, which could take effect this coming, this coming fall. So those are the big things that most people will probably notice within, within the waterfowl hunting uh, regulations. And, uh, or a season date and the like. So I'll just kind of stop there. That's kind of what's out there right now that's kind of front and center. 
Well, you know, uh, with any regulations change uh, th- that you would make, especially for something as important to Arkansas as waterfowl, because that is uh, it's major league stuff there in, in your state, um, and up and up and down the flyway too. That'll that'll uh, have re- repercussions one way or the other up and down other states too. But I'm wondering, you know, that not only is it hunter pressure uh, or and hunter preferences, but there's probably some biological reasons for making those changes too. Wouldn't there be? Yeah, so we know, you know, historically, ducks have, have gotten here when, uh, you know, it's kind of all lined up nicely. Mother Nature had it pretty well lined out uh, kind of before we arrived on the scene. You know, the water builds up through these areas in, in late November through December. Uh, flooding, you would think, kind of peaks around the first of the year. And lo and behold, that's when historically mallard populations peak in Arkansas. And so it, it's, yeah, there, there's more ducks. There's none of this hate. All the ducks are getting here later. They're getting here in February. All of that stuff is really an entirely different conversation that, um, to be real blunt, doesn't have a ton of merit, frankly. <laughs> there's there's not more ducks getting here as late as, say, February. Um, it's just not happening. Uh, but, but ducks do get here. We do have more ducks here, more in the middle uh, of the season, which is right around the first of the year, uh, first part of January, than we do in, say, late November. That's not to say that that there aren't ducks here in in November, and that's one thing we want to get clear to folks is if this proposal moves forward, um, our habitat management on say our, our moist soil habitat that we that can take early flooding, and on our working with private landowners on flooding rice fields, uh, even if the season date is moved back a week, we will not we will still do our best to provide early habitat on a habitat that can take early water to support those those ducks that do have a tradition of coming here early. So we do perpetuate that use, that early use by, by different groups of ducks, including some mallards. Uh, we don't want to lose that connection because we move the season date back a week. And that'll be some communication we work internally, externally with private land managers to make sure that, hey, we're not saying that some of this early habitat isn't important. Uh, we're just trying to get more of the open hunting days uh, during the time when more ducks are present and potentially more more habitat, more, say, passively managed habitat is available. Has the commission been pretty uh, uh, cooperative, or I guess is the right word, or uh, when you guys have brought forth uh, changes like this in the past, are they pretty much, they think, uh, you know, they listen, they, are they listening a lot to what you guys tell them and uh, go forward that way so they, uh, you know, you, you feel pretty good about these proposals? Yeah, so we don't, I don't know what the end up in vote will be, and but we we got a really good relationship with our commission right now, and, that, and that's that's not any kind of blowing smoke. I mean, it, we have a great we had a meeting here just a couple of weeks ago. Where that's always talk, good. Yeah, really openly about why uh, we as staff are proposing this, uh, what concerns uh, we have heard, and they may, might be hearing that they bring to the table. So it's a really good dialogue. We kind of talked about the different there are pros and cons to doing this, and we we talked openly about those. And we'll see what the end decision is. We'll see what the, the, the public survey, input survey is not a vote by any means, but it is a way to kind of coarsely gauge what, what people are thinking and what people think of our proposal. Uh, and, and we'll take a look at that when that survey closes uh, before the May vote. The commission will consider that. The commission, that they'll consider the information we gave plus public feedback, plus their own thoughts. And, and uh, you know, this is the first time that this, a proposal to change the opening day of duck season in Arkansas has happened in most people's memory. Um, I've done this for 15 different regulation cycles in uh, different years, and it's the first time this is this proposal has has made it to the public comment phase. So I'm just I'm, I'm glad we're having the conversation, so we can hear from the public, we can hear from the commission, we can hear what people think about this. And to me, having those conversations and just knowing where we stand is really important, whether it happens this year, whether it happens in future years, whatever the case may be, at least it's kind of all out there that, that hey, we're talking about these things. What's uh, any other proposals that are you guys got you're working with on uh, when it comes to waterfowl? Uh, any, any other uh, things that might change for uh, waterfowl hunters in the, this season or in the next couple of years? Yeah, there's always something we're going to tweak, and we're trying overall. We're trying to simplify stuff and make things more clear. Uh, we're all working on some some WMAs in Western Arkansas that, well, North Dakota River Valley, they get a lot of hunting pressure. 
Um, we're, we're proposing to shift those year after next to, to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday hunting only, for example. We've found that's been pretty helpful on some other heavily hunted WMAs to kind of uh, uh, perpetuate bird use, get, get more bird use on these areas. We do a heck of a lot of work all year to manage habitat for ducks, and then they get, get pretty heavy hunting pressure and kind of really limits duck use and really overall limits the success duck hunters have. And so it sounds, maybe sounds counterintuitive right off the top that, hey, we're going to take a few days away to hunting to make things better for hunters. Uh, but I think most people who have experienced that uh, kind of limited day hunting understand the benefits of it. And and so we're, we're, that's out there for comment. Uh, and if that moves forward, that happened on a few WMAs and also uh, next duck season for 2023-24. Uh, so some things like that, we're constantly trying to figure out, hey, what's the best situation for each each property uh, to, to provide quality waterfowl habitat, uh, increase bird use, and, and provide a, a good hunting experience. And, of course, that's measured differently by every duck hunter. So, um, yeah, a few things like that that may catch people's eye. Yeah, the uh, um, and then, of course, the one of the big questions, and it may be a little early in the year to, to ask this one, but uh, – uh, what are you hearing from the breeding grounds up in the prairie pothole regions? Uh, what's it? What's the weather doing up there? What's uh, uh, any any good any good word coming down? Well, they had about two feet of snow in North Dakota um, here recently, so that's interesting. <laughs> that's not uh, good. <laughs> so, well, it can. It's actually decent timing. There would have been a few ducks trying to arrive early, and and some mallards maybe trying to, trying to kick off some some nesting up there. I haven't talked directly to some of my counterparts up there recently, so. Uh, it's that time of year, but but it's been really dry. You know, most of what we've heard about for the past year is, is drought conditions, and maybe maybe some indication that North Dakota may not be quite as bad as what we anticipated it was going to be coming into the spring. That's always uh, good news. Still, it, it's good, and this snow is going to help. I, I think provide some more moisture, maybe fill up some more small wetlands, um, and then Saskatchewan. You know, who knows? Um, it, it has remained a little drier, uh, so. Maybe not the extreme drought that we had predicted, um, uh, but time will tell. We're going to do the first. Our partners of the Fish and Wildlife Service and some states and the provinces and the Canadian Wildlife Service, they're all going to work together. We're going to get the uh, breeding population and habitat survey done again this May um, after a two-year hiatus due to, due to the pandemic. So that's really good. Uh, we're really happy to see that, that we'll have a – a waterfowl habitat assessment and, and population estimates again this year. So that's going to be great. Well, that's, I mean, that's good news to if you're a waterfowl hunter or if someone that's interested in ducks or uh, if you're a retriever trainer, that's, that's, that's good news. Like Frank is over here. Uh, yeah. He, as a waterfowl hunter and a retriever trainer, he's, he's, he perked up real big when you, when we started talking about waterfowl season and changes in dates and, and uh, that sort of thing. And he's, he, like uh, most people that uh, enjoy waterfowl hunting are, Sure, hoping that uh, the moisture comes at the right time and uh, uh, the, the ducks take the hint. Uh, yeah, right. I hope they do too. <laughs> uh, well, Luke, appreciate it. Appreciate you being here with us this afternoon and taking the time and uh, informing everybody. We'll be back in touch with you uh, down the road to see where things are going and get another uh, uh, update on what's going on up north if you've got the time down the road. You bet. Look forward to it. We'll be, and with that, we'll be right back with more Outdoors with Larry Ray.